Hello, and welcome to Algoma University's Moodle Learning Management System, commonly referred to as an LMS. I'm Melissa, and today I will show you how to navigate your course in Moodle. There are a couple of different ways you can access your Algoma University Moodle. One way is through your student portal. Once logged into your student portal, by clicking on the Moodle link under the Learning Management Systems tab, you will automatically be signed into Moodle. You can also access Moodle by typing in courses.algomau.ca into your internet browser bar and logging into Moodle using your Algoma University credentials. To log in, click the Teal Login button located underneath the password field box. After you click Log In, you'll be taken to the Moodle landing page, also known as the dashboard. Moodle is one of the learning management systems that Algoma University uses for its technologically assisted, remotely delivered courses. It provides a set of tools that you will use to access course materials, submit your assignments, and communicate with your instructor and fellow students. First, let's take a look at your Moodle dashboard. You can navigate to your courses from two places on your dashboard. The first is from the course cards in the course overview block. The other place where you can locate your courses is from the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the screen. The final place you can access your courses is from the recently accessed courses block, which is located directly underneath the course overview block. Next, let's take a look at the right-hand side of your screen. Here you will notice the calendar block. The calendar will have important course due dates for assignments and or quizzes. Please be sure to check each course syllabus for more important due dates. Below the calendar block, you will find the latest announcements block. When an announcement is posted here, you will receive an email notifying you of a new announcement. Above the calendar, on the right-hand side, you will find a notification bell. Notifications alert you about events in Moodle, such as a new forum post. New notifications are highlighted with a number in the notifications menu at the top of the screen. Clicking there displays any new notifications, along with the option to mark all as red. Also, in the top right hand corner, you will see a user menu with your name. Beside your name, there is an arrow to a drop down menu. When you click on the top drop down menu, you will find links to your profile, grades, messages, preferences, and the ability to log out. Please feel free to explore your profile and customize your preferences. All of the icons and features in the top right navigation area will remain the same on every page in Moodle. Next, let's take a look at important support contacts. Below the latest announcements block, you will find a link directly back to your student portal, followed by the technical support block. If you have questions about how to use Moodle or Zoom, please contact the Contact North Help Desk Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. Below this, you will also find contact information for all other inquiries. Now that we understand how to navigate the Algoma University Moodle dashboard, let's explore navigating the course homepage. To access a course, the easiest way is to click on a course from the course overview block. On the homepage for each of your courses, you will find a series of blocks or modules that contain important information about your course. While all of your courses delivered through Moodle will have a similar basic look and feel, how the course specific content is displayed may differ from course to course. For this sample course, we see an about the course module, an assignments module, and typical weekly modules. Each module contains important course content for your review. In the top left-hand corner of your screen, you will see an important information block. This block is standard in all of your courses and is where you can access information such as your instructor's contact information, virtual office hours, and details about your course's live sessions. You'll also find other important contact information. Further along the left-hand side of the screen, you will see the navigation bar. From the navigation bar, you can access a list of participants, your grades, and everything else that you see on the course landing page. 
Let's take a closer look at the navigation bar. Moving over to the Participants tab, you will see a complete list of your classmates, including their email addresses. It is recommended that you communicate with your instructor and classmates using their Algoma University email accounts. You can also access your grades from the navigation bar for this course by clicking on the Grades tab. Below the Grades tab, you will be able to access all the other modules within your course. Now let's take a look at the right-hand side of your course page. On the right-hand side of your course page, you will notice the completion progress bar. Similar to the bar found on the course card in your dashboard, the completion progress bar provides a visual representation of how much of the course you have completed. Just below the completion progress bar, you will find the course calendar block and the upcoming events block. Both provide you with course specific due dates and other important dates but it is still important for you to check your course syllabus for all important dates related to your course. Now, let's take a look at the modules. In the About the Course module, you will find a Getting Started file. Here you will find resources to assist you with learning in Moodle. You will also find a direct link to the Moodle orientation course for students. You can also find Information Technology Student FAQs. Here, you can also find an Announcements forum, course overview, an introduction to your instructor, the course syllabus, required and recommended readings, perhaps an introduction forum, and a link to your live sessions. Below the About the Course module, you will find the Assignments module. This module will include the assignments and grading overview along with each individual assignment details. Expectations such as word count, length, submission type, and other requirements will be included in each assignment's details. Now, let's take a look at what a weekly module will look like. Each weekly module will have required readings, videos, images, quizzes, knowledge checks, etc. There may also be a discussion forum to share ideas or to ask questions amongst your peers related to the week's content. Now that you are familiar with Moodle, now it is time to start exploring. If you have questions about how to use Moodle, contact the Contact North Help Desk Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Email your instructor if you have any questions about course content. Dive in and have fun. Thank you.